All right, welcome to Flick Header. This is my attempt over the last few days to meet the 2010 Excel challenge, along with trying to do something along the theme of the challenge, the, the World Cup. And I always tell my students when you put together an application, make sure that what you are uh, trying to provide is something that someone won't just use once and throw away, but something that they would use on an ongoing basis. So uh, given that the World Cup only happens for a portion of the, this year, um, I thought it might be useful to build an application that was a little bit more robust, allowed people to monitor league play throughout the year for whatever teams they were interested in. What we have here is the uh, in, just uh, the application itself, but before I get into using it, let me just show you some PowerPoint slides about its functionality. Now, some of the things that you have here are purely aesthetic. For example, a little neat clip of the uh, rotating soccer ball has no functionality whatsoever, but it's there and it, it makes things look a little nice. You also have a couple of uh, interactive buttons here. One's just a circle drawing that allows you to update your uh, FIFA stats as needed, again, when, when the uh, cup starts. And another uh, checkbox here that allows for the uh, change of the particular local team perhaps that you're interested in seeing. You get to use uh, the selection over here for which nation you're interested in and the various teams for that nation are listed. We have a bunch of what appear to be video clips, YouTube video clips, uh, supposedly associated with those teams. Now over here we have a bunch of tables, tables relating to uh, individual leagues, those associated with the team selected. You have a bunch of uh, stats on how they have been doing relative to others in those leagues. And uh, you have up to 10, uh, top 10, if there are 10 in that league, uh, being shown. Here's World Cup stats, obviously just zeros right now, given the timing of things. Here you have news feeds regarding the particular team that you've selected up here, so you can get some information on what's going on. And uh, here you have a link to a FIFA site regarding news and video clips on World Cup action. Uh, lastly, we have also a kind of interactive chat mechanism. I don't like having to rely on Google here, but it's an easy way to get sharing done for simple data without having to assume that everyone in the world actually has a SharePoint site up. So since most uh, average Joes won't, and uh, whereas they would most likely have Office applications like Excel uh, 2010, uh, I think it was a pretty decent assumption. How are all these things working? Well, this rotating soccer ball is nothing more than a embedded web browser control, uh, as is this access to the Google Doc. So without Microsoft's uh, web browsers, you wouldn't be able to actually have these embedded within the worksheet. Similarly, you have this FIFA zone down here where you can look at news and videos. Well, that's made possible by another Microsoft uh, web browser control. Up here, these are three shockwave flash L objects that allow access to videos, again, regarding a particular team. You have check boxes, combo box, ActiveX controls, list box, ActiveX controls for selections, also for the group selection when it comes to World Cup stats. You have information being fed to both news and to these data tables from web queries that are happening in the background. And although we only see one sheet here, there are multiple sheets that are helping in the background with user-defined functions and uh, cleaning mechanisms to get all that web data cleaned up in a format that makes it easier to present on this dashboard. Now let's take a look at the application itself. Here's the app. Again, when you open it up, you'll see something like this with a rotating soccer ball. Here I've adjusted the clips so that the local team I'm viewing is the uh, Abbotsford Mariners. And you see three clips available on these guys. If you want to look at any one of them, these are YouTube clips embedded within Shockwave elements. So again, just clicking on it, you get to see what's going on. Got a lot of experience playing County U17, TFC Cap. All right. Now, what you have here are these neat new uh, sparkline elements that 
are one of the neat new features of 2010. And you have both the bar and the uh, line forms showing where people are doing well, where people aren't doing quite so well. A lot of conditional formatting taking place here. Some of it is icon based, some of it is uh, color scales. Same thing applies down here for the World Cup stats drawn from FIFA. And once that information gets updated, you're going to see differences in uh, in these as well. Of course, you have the option of looking at different groups. You don't just have to look at Group C. You could be looking at any set of uh, nations that are playing against one another. Here you have those news feeds regarding the Abbotsford Mariners, but you can also look at news for FIFA. So if you pull down the, the scroll here on the FIFA site, you get to look at what's happening in the news, any additional videos, that might be of interest to you, so you get that neat uh, web type interface that might be of interest. And let's say I'm not interested in looking at cup play, maybe it's not on right now, or maybe the uh, season's over, then again we can go back up here and say, all right, I want to change who I'm looking at. Maybe I want to see what's happening with Russia. I can choose a particular team associated with Russia, maybe the Amcar Perm. And then I just have to wait a little bit. And here I have an update of what's going on in Russia. We have the MCAR Perm League. MCAR Perm is not in the top 10, so it's not even being listed, but the other teams in that league are. And we do have videos on what's going on uh, associated with that team. And uh, also some news items relating to that team. And of course, again, we still have access to. FIFA, so if they have some updates we're interested in, we can still get those as well. Anyhow, that's what Flickr does, and I hope that you've enjoyed this presentation.